Let's talk about some interior design trends for 2021 by looking at Dulux Paint's 2021 paint color palette, Be True. 14 awesome paint colors that take earthy organic tones and mix in some rich contemporary pops of color. If you need some design inspiration, or you're just curious about some of the upcoming 2021 interior design trends, then you've come to the right place. So this year, Dulux released three colors of the year, as well as three distinct color palettes to work alongside them. We've gone through the first palette called Be Well, which was a palette that prioritizes wellness in the mind, body, and spirit, according to the company. I'm not that eloquent. While Be Well featured some cooler colors with pops of warmth, you'll notice that Be True is going to feel quite a bit more grounded with warmer beiges, reds, and brown tones, but they still managed to work in some blues as well to balance it all out. We're going to go through each color fairly quickly, so that way you can get a sense of what Deluxe Paint has in store this year, so you can get right to painting and decorating. If we haven't met yet, I'm James from ThePaintPeople.com, which is a website devoted to all things painting and decorating. We're all about color on this channel, and we also talk about interior decorating as well, and we do it three times a week. We try and talk about all paint companies when we're talking about color, because why deprive ourselves by limiting things to just one? Especially in a world where you can color match virtually any color in any of the major product lines out there. Dulux is a pretty significant brand in Canada and the UK, but in the United States, you'll notice that PPG, or Pittsburgh Paints, rebrands a lot of these colors. So for all my Americans following along, with any of these colors that we talk about today, just swap out the three letters DLX in the beginning of the color, and just replace it with PPG, and you'll be good. Let's get into it. The first color I'm going to start with is one of the colors of the year, and it's the only one of the three in this palette. Transcend makes another appearance. We've talked about it in two other videos, but just to give you a quick synopsis, this is one of your neutral brown beige tan colors that has warmth but works nicely alongside undersaturated cool colors too. It's LRV's 43, so not too light of a color, but as far as mid-tones go, this one's pretty safe. And you know, sometimes safe is good, like a seatbelt. Seatbelts are good. Now going right into a color with the exact same 43 LRV, Gargoyle is much more interesting to me. It's not the color you expect from the name because when I think of a Gargoyle, I'm thinking of a cool stone gray, maybe a dark leaning taupe, but instead we have a beautiful sage gray green. Maybe what the color is attempting to capture is an old Gargoyle statue that's been posted up for over a century and now it's partially covered in moss. It really is wonderful, and it introduces color in a fairly toned down fashion. It still has just a touch of yellow warmth to it, so it won't look silly next to warmer tones. In fact, it'll be very complimentary in those cases. Welcome Home is a pretty deep golden Dijon mustard color, and it combines yellow, brown, and a little bit of orange. This color is a pretty deep gold with an LRV of 35, and it's definitely bold enough to be a statement color. On the Deluxe website, they recommend it for dining rooms, which I could definitely see, but they also recommend it on ceilings with surrounding white trim. I know they didn't mean to paint both the walls and the ceilings this same color in the same room, but even still, accent ceilings this bold can sometimes impact the light reflecting off of it. Just be aware that it may create an overly warm color cast with any light nearby. Chocolate Eclair is the next color, and I'm obviously loving the name. It's a chocolate brown that's more than meets the eye. I almost see it as a Black Forest cake brown, mainly because of its cherry red undertone to enrich this warm color. Its LRV is eight, so it's an extremely dark color, but it has enough warm colorant to prevent it from feeling like an off black. It really is a hearty red brown. I like this color for exterior purposes specifically because of that red undertone. Daylight can be pretty intense and cool, and the effect that sunlight has on this color, it's pretty mesmerizing. For a color with similar undertones, but with even more red, is Clay Ridge. Compared to the last color, this one has an LRV of 17, so not a huge difference, but it's enough to be noticeably lighter than Chocolate Eclair. Clay Ridge has enough red to push it into a rosy clay or red terracotta territory. Not much orange in this one, it's almost a red taupe color. It's a great exterior color choice, especially if a dark chocolate brown is going to be a bit too dark for you. From dark to light, we have Bone White, 
which is the second lightest color in this collection. It's probably not intended to be the trim color choice here because it has a 70 LRV. But that being said, it is pleasant and warm and easy to use. Definitely main color caliper for me. And what's nice is as pleasant and light as it is, you can still easily find white woodwork colors that will pop against it. And by pop, I just mean that there's enough contrast where you can distinguish your woodwork from your walls with your naked eye. Delicate white, on the other hand, is one of those quintessential deluxe or PPG white paint colors. They often call it the most popular white in their company, saying it's rich and soft at the same time. Ultimately, it's 88 LRV makes it quite bright, but what they did with it was just add that little bit of yellow and a touch of gray to prevent it from feeling sterile. Not much else to say here. It's white, it's bright, and it's probably my first choice for trim colors. This next color is not one for modesty, and it's called Best Beige. Now, if I'm being completely honest with you, and you know I always am, this is the one color in this palette that just puzzles me. Don't you think it looks a little bit familiar to another color we talked about at the very beginning of this list? Best Beige and Transcend are extremely similar with only a three LRV difference. And it just seems that having both here is a little bit redundant. Now, if we compare them both side by side, we do notice that Best Beige is a little more yellow dominant, while Transcend contains a little more reddish brown. So you could find two completely different situations for each of them to work more optimally, but come on, Deluxe. There weren't any other colors that you could have used instead. Maybe they had Best Beige already selected and then realized, oops, we forgot to add one of the colors of the year into this palette. Oh, just throw Transcend in there somewhere. I guarantee you that's what happened. But I digress. The timing is perfect for another fun color in China Berry. This is an extremely deep navy indigo blue with an LRV of seven. This type of color is perfect for those scenarios where you just want something really dark, like a charcoal gray or even a deep taupe. You also want some soothing, cool vibes as well. But you also want some soothing, cool vibes as well. This color accomplishes both. Beautiful dark accent color here. Now here's a mid-tone neutral I can get behind called Riveter Rose. It's rich and it contains a blend of gray, brown, and some red as well. And it's that little bit of red that makes it really unique. What I love about it is it has a subtle rose gold undertone to it. Not to the point where it comes across as a straight up pink, but it has that elegant je ne sais quoi effect that makes it so much more than just taupe. It's one of those nearly neutral colors that has a bit more saturation than you might expect. I mentioned the last color had red, right? But not nearly as much as Ruby Lips. This is a mega deep juicy raspberry red that is weighed down by its seven LRV. It's in that category of colors to me where I can see it working well in a dining room or a powder room, but anywhere else, it's just gonna be a lot. So you have to make that choice for yourself if it fits your design vision. But I find it's an awesome front door color because it has enough burgundy to it, which adds that earthy quality that suits exterior surfaces perfectly. I love the smell of juniper and juniper berries, just about as much as I love the color juniper berry. This 14 LRV toned down teal is some of those contemporary pops that this color palette really needed. It's not as dark as some of the other colors on this list, and that gives it a slightly tinted or dusty look to it while still being pretty deep. And it has that cool green and gray quality, which I love. If you know me, you know I'm really into green lately. Not that this is the greenest color out there, but there is that subtle hint of it, which I find absolutely captivating. Now, if you appreciated that last color as much as I do, but want something that's perhaps a bit more feasible in more areas, Holly Glen with a 45 LRV is in that mid-tone range, which is pretty desirable, albeit on the lower end of the spectrum. It's almost a blue-toned sage green, and it has enough saturation where it can be a soft accent color as well, or just an all over the room color for a more tranquil approach to paint color. But our final color takes the cake for the most delicious of paint names. We have the beautiful fiery red known as pizza pie. Another color in that 17 LRV zone, which ends up making this reddish brown terracotta a lighter alternative to those super dark accent colors out there. There isn't a ton of orange in this one, but there's enough to produce a subtle coral undertone, creating that red brown clay feel. 
This is the type of color I could easily see on an exterior deck, especially in a solid stain, but you could easily use it inside as well if you want something fairly bold and saturated, but not obnoxiously bright like a pure red color free of any brown or gray tones mixed in. Overall, this palette is pretty enjoyable and I'd say fairly versatile to a lot of people, but if you're looking for something that is way out there, I can't wait to share the Be Wild color palette in the coming weeks with all of you. This is our video on Be Well, the first of the three palettes that is a little more easygoing, utilizing more lighter colors, that also provides a nice balance of cool and warm. If you could do me a favor and like the video on your way out, that would be awesome. See you on the next one.